Hello, everybody, and welcome to an informational segment for the Chicago Center for Arts and Technology, commonly known as SHICAT. We are here to talk to you today about our summer programming. We are providing no-cost youth arts programming for students throughout the south and west sides of Chicago, and we hope that you enjoy this segment and get a little bit of information about what your youth can be participating in at no cost this summer. For starters, I'm Matt Wilson, I'm the Maker Lab instructor, and I'm going to introduce my colleagues here, starting with Kristen. Hi, I'm Kristen Weikert. I'm the de Design Lab instructor over at Chicat. And hi, I'm Stuart Grace. I'm the instructor at the Digital Lab. Okay, great to have great colleagues with me. I'm going to flip to the slides so that we can get into some of the information about the Chicago Center for Arts and Technology, starting with our mission. At SHICAT, we elevate our talents, culture, and community through transformative art studios, sector-driven training, and advanced technology. We give you all the best we have, and we do it all at no cost to you. So if you're interested, come on out and participate in our programming. We are located at 1701 West 13th Street. We are accessible via Roosevelt and Ashland, as well as the Pink Line and Bus Lines 9 and 12. So no matter whether you like to use CTA or drive or hop, skip, jump, come on over. We are easy to find, and you will be able to find no-cost programming no matter what you're interested in. Summer events coming on up. We have Pride Day Festival coming Thursday, June 30th. We also have a summertime side block party coming up. The Pride Day Festival will be from 1 to 5 p.m. That will be a chance for you to learn about Pride as well as participate in some activities and games. The Summertime Shy Back to School event is a block party to wrap up the art created here as well as look ahead to what we have coming up in the fall. Orientation. We like to make sure that people are up to date on what's going on, and this is a great chance for you to learn about SHICAT to tour the facility, register for classes, as well as meet the instructors. We have two virtual dates and one in person. The virtual dates are going to be Monday, June 27th, and Wednesday, June 29th, from 6 to 7 p.m. Also, the in person will happen right before our Pride event from 11.30 to 12.30, Thursday, June 30th. Either of those work for you and your schedule, come on out and participate in orientation to get up to speed on what we have going on for the summer. So if we could flip back to us as we start to transition to talk about our youth programs, we will be able to discuss more of what's going on here. So as I've mentioned before, me and the colleagues I work with here are providing great programming for middle school and high school age ranges. That means anyone 11 to 13, as well as rising freshmen going into high school are eligible to participate. Now, we have a specific schedule, which we'll get into, as well as specific classes per lab with each instructor, and we have more information about that coming up right now. So I will flip to the slides about the summer schedule and be able to tell you all more about what we have for our summer camp calendar. For summer camp, that means students will be able to be here all from July 5th to August 12th. That will give people a chance to participate in a variety of classes from coding to working with fabric and textiles to create pillows to photography. We are providing programming for middle school through DFSS and that will be happening. The class will be starting at 930, but the center will be available, available for 930 to 330. So the after school will be happening in obviously our after school part but during the summer we flip it to our 1 to 4 p.m. time slot. After school matters for the summer will be for teenagers who want to participate in paid programming. They will get receive stipends. Again, if you are interested in learning about art as well as receiving a stipend, this is a great chance for you to participate. Now we can transition to learning about what each class is offering by lab. So I will pass it off to Chris and Weikrat, who will talk about our design lab. Hello. Um, so in our design lab, we like to do a lot of things that are hands-on. Um, we work from process, and we learn about drawing to painting all the way through sculpture, um, sometimes a little bit of printmaking, and our fashion design is thrown in there as well. And for my middle school classes this summer, we are doing um, a pizza pillow collaborative 
where they're going to learn to um, sew a little bit and get creative and uh, collaborate and put some zippers in there. And my high school prepaid uh, internship is actually for the older kids, so 16 and up this year. Um, and we're going to develop an expressive body of artwork where uh, the kids kind of get to express their individual creativity and learn about being artists in the real world. And at the end, they will have a gallery showing also to um, show off all of their um, artworks and kind of get a portfolio together for their um, either vocational ventures or uh, college ventures. And I will, if you'd like to pass the slide. We can flip to slides. Again, this is an overview of what we have for the design lab with our awesome instructor, Chris Mycret. And we will now learn more about the digital lab with Stuart Grace. Well, thank you for having me. Now, our digital lab, uh, this summer we're going to be focusing on photography. As you see on the slide up there, we have one of our digital cameras setting up for something for animation. Some of the things we're going to be covering uh, uh, this summer, in the morning with the middle schools, we're going to be doing panoramic photography. Could you advance the slide, please? And one more. And another one. Excellent. There we go. So with the panoramic photography for the middle school, we're going to be going out and shooting urban landscapes, but wider formats. And, uh, and then printing out these beautiful, wonderful, full posters of the work. The afternoon, we're going to be exploring about a half dozen different styles of photography, whether it's close-up work, uh, uh, even real close mac-up work. Uh, portrait photography, we'll be doing photo merges, and we'll also be exploring uh, alternative lighting setups, whether it's in our studio or on location with our battery lamps. Great. Awesome to hear about what's happening in the digital lab. Thank you, Stuart. And now it's time to transition to our Maker Lab, which is a lab that I teach in. The programming offered in here ranges from coding to 3D modeling, 3D animation, etc. But what is happening specifically for this summer are two coding programs for both grade levels. Beyond getting into you know, the G code of 3D printing, etc., we will teach people to make animations as well as games. The middle school level will be learning how to use Scratch, which is object-oriented programming to teach people how to design their own characters, sprites, and be able to use that in a creative way for whatever they choose to. And the high school will be learning about Python and JavaScript. The Python specifically, we will be using ToonPad, which is a library where people can code with Python to make music. And the JavaScript will be ran through P5JS, which is made for interactive artwork as well as teaching people how to build animations or generative work as well. So a lot of flexibility in our coding programs. And again, for all three labs, these are no cost. If you are interested in participating, come on out and reach out to us. We give you all the information on how to sign up. Now, let's transition to Gallery 1701, led by Kristen Weikrat. Alongside uh, teaching in the Fine Arts Department, I'm also the gallery manager. We have a small gallery, uh, Gallery 1701, and our mission is to encourage creativity in emerging artists ignite passion for careers in the arts and promote beauty within the and beyond the gallery walls. Um, we like to show voices of emerging artists and uh, we like to do exhibits of our students and annual events um, and partner with lots of professionals. So be on the lookout and come join us. We are also open, next slide, from 12 to 5 by walk-ins or appointments and we do building art tours by apartments. Um, if you like to arrive at the front desk, please check in at the front desk and um, to get your temperature taken and follow some COVID protocols. Great, thank you so much, Kristen. Again, I would like to remind the audience of our location. We are at 1701 West 13th Street. We provide programming at no cost for youth around the city of Chicago. If you are interested in anything related to art or STEM or STEAM, this is the place for you.